Making a nice win with the white pieces against uh, Vengeance. The opening, how did it go? The A4 idea is quite rare here. Uh, yeah, I played it before. I don't really know. Uh, you know, she started thinking and then she played this B5 move, which looked, uh, well, very risky at least. I mean, it looked pretty bad to me, actually. Um, I, I don't know, maybe she had some chances to get back into it after that. But uh, in the end, I managed to win pretty easily. Right now, yesterday you beat Hu Yufan, who is the number one player from China, and today another player from China. Seems like you're quite on a. It's been a really good start for you. Yeah, I got a double white. Well, no, I wasn't. Well, I would have been happy to beat one of them, but it's great to beat them both. Uh, it's nice to win a game uh, a bit quickly as well. I had already three games over six hours, so uh, a shorter game was uh, welcome today with a good result. Yesterday was quite a marathon as well. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was going to give it up as a draw, but then I was sitting there for a while and I was sort of noticing this, this end game with the extra knight. I mean, it looks like it should be a draw because Black's pawns are so far advanced, but it's very, very complicated. And then I realised that practically it's very, very difficult for Black at least. Right, very enterprising play from you, Mickey, throughout the tournament as of now. And uh, just coming back to today's game, now when you played A4 and she goes B6, this idea with A5, did you feel after B5 it was completely, I mean, you were very happy with the position because uh, it seemed after the D5 pawn is gone, it was all but over? Uh, no, I mean, I, B5 I was very surprised. I thought it looked, uh, you know, really bad. And uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, it was a bit strange. She played B6 quickly. I think she intended to play Queen C7, which is another common move. And maybe she mixed the move order because I don't think she was happy after. But I mean, a5, maybe bishop b7 or b takes a5. I mean, there are other moves at b5. The pawn on a6 is really, really strong. That's that's the big problem. And also I have the idea to play rook a5 very often. So these two factors, you know, really, uh, I mean, otherwise it might not be a great position, but these two additional themes make it really unpleasant for uh, for black. Right, now Mickey, just give us a little insight into how the preparation works for you when you're playing against uh, someone like Venjun who's having a great tournament, but definitely you're with the white pieces, you want to try to win this game. Uh, the psychological aspect of the preparation and how, how would you prepare for such a round? No, I, d I didn't prepare so much. Uh, no, I mean, I, I really didn't prepare so much today. I, I, di I didn't consider she would play the French at all, more or less. I checked my French notes like for one minute because uh, I saw she started playing recently, but she played in so few games. Uh, I thought probably she would play, uh, well, okay, I thought she would play something else, maybe maybe Petrov or Sicilian. She was playing a lot, so I, I thought probably she would choose one of these two uh, options. So, uh, so all my preparation time was wasted, but there wasn't too much of it. <laughs> right now, Mickey, my last question that I want to ask you is that why is it in the chess world that you're known as the spider? Uh, well, I, I don't know, a very strong player said that about me once, so I, I took it as a compliment. <laughs> but my wife is not very fond of spiders, I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we wish you all the best for the remaining rounds. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.